Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is Vini Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So as you can see by the title, we are doing a full face of ColourPop. It's been taking a while to do this video because they don't restock a lot of their things other than their, like, their newest collections. So it was kind of hard to find face products that they don't really restock. But we are finally here. Um, I do love a lot of ColourPop, so I'm very excited to do a full face. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. And if you do enjoy the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Join my squad. Let's get into it. Do you guys like all the... December Christmas vibes. I was so excited to put this background up. I just, my aesthetic is Christmas, like this is me. So let's get into it. By the way, um, I'm just gonna say one last thing. Um, I never do a middle part, so I feel really weird. And I also feel a little bit like Hermione Granger right now. I don't know what happened. Actually, I look more like Hagrid. I'm hoping that this hair comes together with the makeup. All right, for real, let's get into it. So we are gonna start out with the brows and I did get their brow pencil. By the way, some of these things I have tried a couple times, some are first impressions, so I have a little bit of both opinions to give to you guys. So first let's go in with the ColourPop Brow Boss and this brow pencil is in the shade Brunette. So I have tried this before and to be honest, it's not my favorite. I'm not super critical of brow pencils, but this formula is a little bit like on the drier side for me. I do feel like I have a harder time doing my brows with this. I wish it was a little bit more pigmented. I'm not sure if I got a dud. I don't hate it, but I definitely think that there are better um, brow products at the drugstore and there's a lot of really nice, very fine micro pencils. Uh, NYX has a really good one, CoverGirl, Wet n Wild. So I just don't love this one and um, it's just not my favorite, but it's, it's an okay product. I did wanna say that I do like the pencil. Like obviously I really like the way my eyebrows came out, but uh, you do have to go over the brows a couple times because it is such like a subtle product and I just feel like with pencils this little that contains such a little bit of product you will go through it really really quickly so if you're looking for a very natural brow pencil and you don't mind going through it quickly then this might be a good one for you I just feel like there's better options at the drugstore. Okay, so let's move on to the face. Actually, you know what? For some reason, I didn't get any more brow products. I really thought that I got the, um, what is it called? The brow gel, but we'll go in with the Bare Necessities palette that we will use later because there's a shade called Taboo that's a really pretty, perfect, like neutral dark brown shade. And sometimes I do go into it because it is a matte shade and I use it on my brows. This is just goes to show you that you don't necessarily need to buy multiple products for each part of your face. You can always make it work. For primer, we're gonna be using the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. So I'm gonna put about, I guess just one pump would be good enough. I have used this primer before and I like it. I'm just not like obsessed with it. Like it's a good primer if you do have like drier skin and you need to add hydration and hyaluronic acid is really good for that. So I do like that and it smells really, really, really good. But I tend to go for more pore minimizing primers. Again, I know this is not a pore minimizing primer and I do like it. I do like the way my skin feels and it looks really dewy. The only thing is that I'm not sure if there is any shimmer in this or what, but it does kind of emphasize my pores. And that's just like a big no-go for me. I'm not sure, I think it's a little bit like pearlized, I think, and it just, I don't know, it just brings out my pores. So that's the only reason why um, it's not my favorite, but if you're just looking for a primer with hyaluronic acid that makes you look really dewy, um, I do like it. I promise I'm not gonna be super hard on the products. I'm just being honest, and sometimes when I'm doing these full face of uh, any brand, people are very harsh on me, and just know like I do love ColourPop as a brand. There are so many amazing products. I'm not saying this is not amazing, just for me, um, and if you're like me, if you have larger pores and you just don't want them emphasized, then I would skip on this. But if you're just looking for a really 
hydrating feeling like if you have super super dry skin and you just need some hydration and doing this then you really are going to enjoy this i do like it it's just not my favorite speaking of favorites though the foundation i'm about to show you guys is one of my favorites of all time so this is the pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation i have the shades 80w as well as medium 100w my perfect shade is in the middle of these two my neck is a little bit darker than my face per usual so I'm gonna mix them. This foundation is literally so amazing. By the way, I'm gonna do a pump of 100W and like half of a pump of this one. I will be doing a best of 2020 makeup and like spoiler alert, this is in it because it is such a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It wears really nicely. It makes your skin look so nice. I don't necessarily think that you should stay away from it if you do have oily skin. Um, just make sure to use like a mattifying primer and a um, setting powder because it is hydrating and it's nice, but it's not super dewy. And that's something I love about it. I do prefer a more hydrating natural foundation, but a lot of those tend to be super dewy. And again, I don't love that because I just like to blur out my face as much as possible. This looks so nice as soon as you put it on. It also wears super, super nicely throughout the day. It doesn't settle into my smile lines as much as other foundations. And it just looks really natural and I, just freaking love it. If you have normal to dry skin, I 100% say you should try it. If you have oily skin, maybe get a sample, but I do think that a lot of you could make it work for you. This is a foundation. As you can see, it looks very natural. It looks healthy. It's not matte, but it's not overly dewy either. You can also manipulate it with the primers and the setting powders that you use. And I just love it. 10 out of 10. Um, if you're thinking about trying it, I say go for it, it's amazing. So next, let's move to concealer. This is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer and I do have the shade Medium 90W. I honestly don't know how I feel about this. Um, I remember liking it but not loving it, but I wanna give it another shot. I've used it like once or twice. Um, I do prefer more high coverage concealers, but I don't discriminate against others that are not. I totally forgot to get sponges from ColourPop, so this is just, um, these are the Beaky sponges from Amazon. I can link them down below if you guys are interested. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend all this out. Okay, so I am going to build it just a little bit. So far, I'm not loving it or hating it. There's something about the formula that is just, it's not that it's not creamy, but it's a kind of thin and a little sticky. I do need to set it with a powder to like make sure that how I feel about it is how I feel about it. So far it looks good. It's just not, I don't know. I just have other favorite uh, concealers. It doesn't look the best on the skin, honestly. And I feel like a lot of people do love this literally for that reason. So far so good, it's okay. So far it looks all right. I do have a cream bronzer. Now, the reason why it took so long to do this full face is because they haven't restocked bronzers that are powder that could work for my skin tone in a very long time. So um, I do have the Soul Body Dark Face and Body Bronzing Balm. And this is the only bronzer that I have. I didn't wanna not do the video just because I didn't have a powder bronzer. I have tried this a couple times and I will tell you guys my thoughts after I use it. Again, this is the Soul Body Face and Body bronzing balm in the shade dark. I definitely could have used a shade a little bit lighter. Um, I don't mind how dark the shade is. I just wish I would have gotten a shade lighter so that it would be warmer. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this to bronze my whole face just with an angled brush. See how this is like really red tone? One of the reasons why I don't really reach for it is because of the tone and that's obviously like my own fault. I know that. So since we don't have um, a powder bronzer, I am gonna go pretty heavy handed with this because I am gonna set it and usually when you set a cream with powder, it kind of dulls down a little bit. So I'm gonna bronze up my face as much as I can without looking like a clown and I'll be right back. I'm really glad I did this video because I actually really do like this product. Again, the only reason why I don't reach for it is for the shade, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and get a different shade. I don't hate it. It's just not like my go-to shade, but the formula is actually really nice. It's very thin, like it's not heavy at all. It's super lightweight. A little bit goes a long way. I've used it for my chest. Since it is so lightweight, it's not super makeup-y. Like you can actually buff it out really nicely. So I do give this a thumbs up. 10 out of 10 on the packaging and the price and the formula. So this concealer is already creasing 
and I do have a setting powder to use. The setting powder will be my first time using it. I'm super excited about it. I do hear a lot of good things about this. This is the no filter setting powder. I did get the shade translucent because I wanted to make sure that it worked for me. There is like a, um, a little cover for the sifter, which I love. I, I wish that every powder product came with a sifter locker. So far it looks nice. I like grittier powders. I don't love the super like fine HD powders for under the eyes. I guess I'm just gonna set my whole face. I don't tend to set my whole face too much, but since we are using um, cream products, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. By the way, this concealer, like I know all concealers crease, but this one's creasing like, like real bad. Okay, so the face is set and I do have to say, I really, really like this powder. I don't love the concealer and I hate saying that because I feel like a lot of people do love the concealer and when I don't like popular products, I get a lot of hate comments for it. I hate making this reference, but it almost looks like elephant skin under my eyes, which is horrible. Um, it's not the worst concealer, I just, I don't love it. It's also kind of separating on my eyelids. It just, it's just weird to me because a lot of people love it and I like, I wish I could love it with you guys. I just don't and I just can't recommend something I don't love. But I really like this powder. It is very um, fine and it really did blur like my skin and a little bit went a really long way. Like I still have so much powder left and it set my face beautifully. So I do really like that powder. So for blush, we are gonna be using one of their, um, what are these called? Their Super Shock Cheek Blushes. So this one is in the shade Growth Flirt. It is one of their matte formulas and this is what it looks like. I also don't tend to use this a lot just because I remember last time that I used it, it wasn't giving me that much pigment. But again, that's why I like doing these videos because I can like revisit some products that I don't know about and then I can also try products that are new to me. I like a lot of blush, um, so that's why I really need to like load it up. I understand if it's too much blush for you or if you think it looks clowny. To be honest, it always works out for me. I like the way it looks and blush does fade throughout the day. And so that's kind of something I'm trying to avoid. I'm gonna do a wear test today. It's already in the afternoon, but I feel like I'm gonna wear it for a couple hours just because I am really liking this blush but I think I remember it not lasting very long. So I'm gonna do a wear test and just do one like final check-in at night to tell you guys because so far I really am enjoying this blush. I do have a highlighter, but I like to leave that almost for like the last part of the video. So what I'm gonna do is use one of my favorite palettes. Um, it is very dirty as you can see. I could have cleaned it for the video, but I like to keep it real. This is the Bare Necessities palette. It's neutral and cool tone and a little bit of warm tone. I just wanna give a big shout out to my favorite palette of all times, which is the ColourPop Double Entendre. This is the most basic palette in the world. I talk about it all the time, but it's the most perfect basic palette. Here's a little close up of it. I use this all the time and anytime I travel, I do bring this with me but I understand that it is very repetitive for me to talk about that all the time. So I do wanna show you guys a little tutorial with the Bare Necessities palette. Here it is in all its glory. And as you guys know, I will be speeding eyeshadow up, putting some relaxing music under it. I just sounded like, um, like Moira from Schitt's Creek, some relaxing music under it. And uh, I will show you guys what shades I'm using. Alrighty guys, so that was the eyeshadow. I just think 
They do eyeshadows so well. You can get so many beautiful palettes for a really good discounted price. Not discounted, it's just very affordable. And I like I love this like for a bigger palette. I like it. I love the packaging. I love that it's soft touch. And I love all the shades. Like I really think ColourPop just does really, really well with their eyeshadows. So for eyeliner, this is actually a new product for me. I went ahead and got the BFF liquid liner in numero uno, which is just the black. So this is what it looks like. As you guys can see, just a felt tip liner. Oh my gosh. It, wow. Wow, that looks really nice. Very black. Um, so far, so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wing it out. I am gonna fast forward through this because I am not the fastest at winging it out, but um, I'm just gonna test it out, see how it looks over the eyeshadow as well as, of course, the shimmer shadow. I actually prefer a brush tip eyeliner, but I don't mind fill tips. They're just not my go-to. All right, so this is what the eyeliner looks like. I actually really like it. The eyeliner is very affordable. Again, it has that felt tip that I don't love, but it worked perfectly. I will say um, I have a lot of shimmer shadow on, so I thought it was gonna be a little bit difficult to get like a black pigmented line on top of it, but um, I, did, I had no problem with it. Let me just fix it a little bit right here. I actually really like it. This looks really pretty. Not shiny, not matte, kind of just in the middle, like a little satin finish. Um, I like it. It's a good liner. I do have other favorites just because I prefer a brush tip, but if you prefer a felt tip liner, this is a pretty good one and it was very, very easy to use and it's affordable. So I actually didn't buy the mascara, but I did buy falsies instead because I don't see a lot of people talking about falsies from ColourPop, so I figured why not? So I got to style Miami and they definitely look a lot more um, dramatic than I thought they were gonna be. So here's what they look like. By the way, I really do love the packaging. These actually remind me a lot of, you know, the packaging of my lashes. It's like the same kind of component. I prefer my lashes to be a little bit more, like more layers, but they do look like they're a little bit fluffy. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them to the size of my eyes and apply them and I'll be right back and I'll let you guys know what I think. I don't think I've ever said this before, but I am very overwhelmed with these lashes. Um, they are way too dramatic for my liking. They just didn't look that long. I'm just gonna talk about the quality of the lash. I do think they're nice, they're lightweight, the band is a medium size, so you can tell you can get a couple wears out of this. And it's not super heavy, like it's super heavy on me because the lash is so big, but I feel like the band is actually a really good width. I did have to curl them a little bit with my eyelash curler because they were sticking straight out. Um, they're okay, I don't love them, I don't hate them. Obviously the style is not my fave, but the lashes are fine. They're good, um, they're good for the price. I do think you can get cheaper lashes that are better from e.l.f. or even from um, I lure, you can get them from Iconic Lashes. So I do like them, I'm just not obsessed with them, but they're good lashes. So let's move on to highlighter. I did buy a brand new Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. This is the color Wisp. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it on. Again, Super Shock, that's like the color pop formula that they're very famous for. And um, as most of you guys know, I don't go for a super blinding highlighter anymore, but um, you know. I'm just gonna go with a lighter hand and see what happens. Oh Lord. This actually, okay, so this is going more intense than I wanted to, but it's looking wet and wet highlighters are like my favorite because I don't want it to look like I just have like a powder stripe on my cheek. I want it to look like wet and dewy. Um, so far this looks really pretty. This is more of like a champagne shade, not super yellow, not super white. It also works with your fingers and then a little bit above the eyebrows. Ooh, I really like that. I love a super, super bright inner corner highlight and this is giving me everything I want. I definitely like the Super Shock formula more on the highlighter rather than the blush 
because for some reason the highlighter comes off super pigmented but the blushes you really have to like dig into it it might only be the um matte formula but like right now i i have to go back to my blush and add some more just because for my liking it is kind of fading a little bit so hopefully with the second layer it will last the rest of the day so for setting spray we are going to be using the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist i really like this i like I like the uh, mister it's like it's like very continuous it smells good and it just hydrates your face you're not gonna look super dewy or matte it's just going to hydrate the face really set all the powders and lock in your makeup I really enjoy it this is a setting mist that's gonna really work for a lot of people because it's not really changing the finish it's just adding hydration back into your skin so for lip liner I have my favorite shade but I wanted to show you guys um, I bought two other shades on the website just to try them out. So this one is Avi and then Beeper is just a little bit more of a cool tone mauve. My favorite is actually 951. This is 951. See how you can make it warm or cool tone depending on what you put next to it. So I also have BFF2 and this is more of like a reddish brick kind of shade my other favorite is bff3 this, as you can see is closer to a true brown so i really like to mix them so i'll show you guys what i do i first like to start out with 951 and i will be overlining my lips that's just what i do and by the way these lip liners are freaking amazing the formula is amazing um they last a really long time and they're super super affordable and a lot of the times i just fill in my lips with this shade i wish they had a lipstick with this shade but they don't i will wear this on the daily if i want to go in and make it a little bit more intense i do use bff3 look how i mean this just shows you how much i love them and i kind of just outlined the outer um the outer corners not the outer corners the outer lip area i just kind of contour it a little bit and i kind of just blend that in and then it becomes more of a darker brownier tone and then another formula that i love from ColourPop is actually their ultra blotted lips and i feel like a lot of people feel like they just can only wear this with like a natural look but i'll put on some lip liner and then i'll add a couple dots this is the shade soda pop i know it looks very bright um but i love it because i love wearing it on my bare lips as well as on top of lip liner and i just kind of do a little bit in here and it adds a pinkier look to it without making it like super heavy. Like this is a very, very thin formula with a powdery finish. I feel like I get a lot of questions about what lipsticks I'm wearing in different videos and it I literally mix so much, but just know that my go-to is 951 and to deepen it out, it's BFF3. Okay guys, and this is the final result. I absolutely love the way my makeup looks um all the products that i talk about like there's really no big disappointments there are just some products that are not my favorite but when it comes to ColourPop, there is not very many misses like i don't think they create products that are not good obviously we all have personal preferences so maybe that's why some are not my favorite but overall i do love ColourPop as a brand i just love how affordable they are i love that they're sold in ulta as well now so it's easier to shop and the only thing is i just wish they would restock more of their permanent items rather than coming out with new collections it is currently 3 p.m i'll do like a five to eight hour wear test really just depends on when i go to bed but as always i'll see you guys in my bathroom with my phone and give you guys my final result but honestly so far i love this like, i love 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 the way it looks so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in a couple of hours hey guys okay so it is currently around 10 30 so i was able to do a good amount of test wear um by the way i always take off lashes i cannot wear lashes all day at my house but do you guys see how good this foundation looks i'm just on my phone there's no filter like this foundation is actually amazing and i did realize that first of all all the swatches held up but the blush did hold up pretty good so um honestly everything that i really mentioned in the video i stand by all the products that i liked and then the only question was the blush and the bronzer and they sit on really really well on their own so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you found it helpful thank you guys so much for watching um and let me know what you guys want to see next i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye